texting anxiety. We talk a lot about it from the perspective of the people sending the text, but what is texting anxiety like for the people receiving the text? Hi, I'm Kim Long and I'm with Dosha Psychological Services and that's what we're going to be talking about today is how to handle text anxiety when you are on the other end and you're receiving the text. Because Yes, watching those three dots show up or waiting for the text to come back can be anxiety inducing. However, it can also be anxiety inducing to either receive a text that um, may appear hazardous <laughs> or um, I don't know. Texting is just anxiety producing, I have to say. It causes a lot of stress in my life as the person who receives the texts and I admit and I've admitted this before, I am horrible at responding to texts and phone calls. Um, and I will admit that receiving a text causes me a lot of anxiety. So I have to ask myself, what is the anxiety really about? So for me, sometimes it's about feeling pulled at, I just need a break from technology. Um, sometimes it's it's because I'm not great with being interrupted. So if I have my phone on and I hear the bing, 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 and I'm trying to concentrate. So it, it makes me feel this pressure of, oh my gosh, what's so urgent that you need to text me? Now, I need to preface this with I grew up in the generation where we still had rotary phones at first. And for the longest time, cell phones didn't even have texting capabilities. So... I don't really have my phone, like I'm not, it's not on my hip at all times. And I don't, I miss the days where I could just leave home and not um, be able to, to get a hold of. Wow, that wasn't even correct English. But we'll go with that. I think you're getting the idea of what I'm, what I'm putting down. So for me, I know that I have a strange view about texting in this day and age. However, it's still true that for those of us that get the anxiety from receiving the text, we just need to check in with ourselves. What is the anxiety actually about? Maybe it's also that you receive a lot of texts from this person or they're doing the one word text response when they could give you a whole sentence. That's a lot of bings, people, a lot of bings. And, and the noise, the alert, can increase heart rate and all of those other things. It can make you feel like, oh gosh, now something else I have to respond to, or ooh, am I, how, is this a proper thing to communicate over text? And it can create a lot of stress. Um, however, to be fair, it's not fair to keep people hanging. <laughs> as much as I do it, it's really not fair. And I can see where it may be causes some tension in relationships because it may be interpreted as a personal thing when it's really not. Um, so some prevention things, some ways to cope with it. Um, I am going to try and I invite anybody else who experiences this with me to try setting some expectations around texting or limits around texting such as um, on my phone message I've actually left a message saying Listen, I don't check my phone messages a lot. If you're really trying to get a hold of me, email me because I'm usually at work and so I have better access to the email and I can tell very quickly, is this going to take a long response or a short response and I can get back to you quickly. So I could do the same thing for texting that when I'm at work, I'm not checking my phone. I will respond to your text before I go to bed at night if that's, if that's the limit right? Um, maybe there's a way, I need to look into this, but maybe there's a way to just send a generic notice, um, like a pre-scripted thing, just saying, I'm unable to respond right now, I will respond between this time and this time, or these times, um, and see if that's standardized. Just easy ways to let the person know, A, you received the text, and B, here's where I'm at right now, and this is what I can offer to you. I'm not ignoring you, it's not personal, right? So just being conscious of 
how our lack of response may be affecting the other person and may heighten the frequency of texting if they're really trying to get a hold of you, right? But also being aware of our own limits and what we're okay with and what we're not okay with and being able to check in with ourselves around why is, why is receiving a text freaking us out right now and what do we have to do to take care of ourselves? Because it's not the other person's problem. They don't know. Hmm. So I hope all of that made some sense. If not, please let us know and I will do my best to clarify any of that. Um, you may be able to tell that this is a very personal topic to me. Um, just because I think we have so much information coming at us in our day that it can become really overwhelming and um, I'm not sure that we do a great job of communicating that to the people in our lives and then that damages relationships and it doesn't have to and I'm just reiterating everything that I just said. So with that I will wish you good luck and happy communicating your limits and yeah take care of yourself. Bye for now.